What's up vlog? It's me. It's Tuesday, November 15th right now. And I just purchased my flights. We're going to Miami. We're going to Miami. And then I'm going straight from Miami to see my parents and my siblings and stay with them for a couple of weeks for the holidays. So December 13th, we will be rolling out of LAX and then I'll be flying to Fort Lauderdale actually, which is only about 25 miles from Miami. And Spirit keeps calling me to Florida. Like this might sound weird, but to a lot of you it probably won't. For the past couple of like weeks, maybe even the past couple of months, I've been hearing Florida, 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 like almost every day. And then I'll see something in my like vision or in my like phone or in my real life that's like Miami or there's like a Florida license plate or just something that's like spirit giving me a sign like hey go to Miami go have fun go to Miami you deserve it so I'm doing it I'm excited to see Florida for the first time and then I'm also excited to go home and see my family because I miss the puppies and I miss them so it'll be good it'll be a good time of course I'll vlog the experience as well I'm feeling a little bit better two 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 filming i've been seeing a lot of angel numbers lately because the guides are like you're doing fine you're releasing you're purging you're growing you're ascending it's all a part of the process there has to be bad with the good and i get it so i'm just resting taking care of myself which has been really nice it's been really really nice to just rest and plus i cleaned up my room so everything is like nice and clean and i'm pro prioritizing my rest and my peace and my well-being and i feel a lot better i'm like kind of ready to get back into work mode tomorrow but I'm still gonna take it easy on myself, so. That's my little update. A couple weeks ago, I was like, it's getting dark really fast, and this is weird, but I've adjusted. My eyes have adjusted to it getting darker earlier. It's like 5.57 p.m. right now, and I'm just like out here watching people drive home or watching people like go out. Also, I've been seeing a lot of fives. Like I just saw 555. Five, five. I've been seeing 555 five, five everywhere. So you guys might be seeing a lot of fives when you're listening to this or you've been recently seeing a lot of fives, but that represents some kind of change, some kind of obstacle, some kind of challenge that you need to overcome, that you are in the process of overcoming. It's a process, you know what I'm saying? It's not like a, I get the problem, I understand the problem, I'm gonna fix the problem all in one day. It, it just doesn't work like that. It's a process. So if you're seeing the fives a lot though, just know that there is some kind of positive change coming because you've been trying. It's kind of like the universe giving you little rewards because you are trying to make the changes, to be better, to get healthier, etc. I'm hearing Rome wasn't built in the day. And I hear that so often when we're being told to just kind of like be present and know that we're doing all that we can in the here and now. I'm also hearing that some of you have been real bored, but I'm getting told that you're not going to be bored for much longer. It's just a season. Everybody wants your attention. Everybody wants your information. That's what I'm getting when you come out of this like period. You know what I'm saying? Of boredom, stagnation. Just wait, just wait, okay? Okay, we need to talk because what the fuck is this? What is this? What have I done? <laughs> what have you done? I tried to sharpen it. This is a Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Pillow Talk and it's a beautiful color, but I'm not recommending this to anyone unless I'm just dumb and don't know how to sharpen a lip liner, but like, I have a sharp pencil sharpener. We try to sharpen it. It like doesn't, and I'm like, am I weak or what? It's like not sharpening. It's getting worse. Like, am I just dumb? Like what, what? It's $24 for one of the most beautiful colors in the world. Um, but complete waste for me, so. I'm glad I got to wear it like three times. <laughs> That's that. Back to MAC lip liners and back to NYX lip liners because those ones I can sharpen. Never have a problem. I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe I did something wrong. It could be me. I don't know, but I'm not going to recommend this to anybody ever again. 
Yikes. Okay, that's that. We needed to talk about it. Thanks for listening. I don't really feel like I'm a Charlotte Tilbury kind of a person anyway. Like, I don't feel like I fit in with that group of people. I'm not a darling type. I don't think that that's my type. I'm more of like a yeehaw. <laughs> Throw on some makeup and let's do it. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> but like, it's very pretty and sophisticated. And sometimes glam and sometimes holographic and sometimes futuristic. And it's always depending on my mood. I don't know. I don't want to talk bad about the brand because I don't know anything about them. I just don't feel like I'm a darling kind of a girl. <laughs>to just talk about this like y'all what is going on in the world these days i just got done talking to you guys like in a recent clip about how every time i post something someone has something to say and it's just continued to another day another installment <laughs> it's currently 11 55 p.m on november 16th almost november 17th right and Spirit led me to do this reading for TikTok because I've just been feeling this like heavy energy that needed to be transmuted and I needed to deliver a message. So I got on my phone, turned on TikTok, filmed, but I didn't want to be on camera. I have no interest in being on camera today. The way I started the reading is very like heavy because I can feel that someone's been like crying or someone's been really emotional lately and someone's been having a hard time like figuring out what's going on with their life and like what they need to know. And the first card that came out was the answers you need are coming. So hopefully in that reading, I was able to give the person the answers that they needed. But what are the very first comments? says are you okay you seem so down lately with like the wide eye sad emoji and i understand that the person's just like looking out for me but like within the first 20 minutes it has like 50 50 likes and just people are just like liking that so i tried to respond to it but like nobody's reading the response they're, always, they're just like, oh, he seems down. Oh, he seems sad. Is he okay? He seems down lately. He's not 100% cheerful. He's not like so happy, so energetic, so like, yay, so slay. Okay. <laughs> that person who said that didn't even follow me. Like, this is why I try not to read comments. It's just so, so dumb sometimes. Like, yeah, the energy's been heavy to transmute. It's freaking November. It's Scorpio season, like eclipse season. We have all this stuff going on energetically. It's also like seasonal depression time. And I'm a reader. Like I channel people's energy and I'm a helper, I'm a healer. So I channel a lot of like sadness and I channel a lot of pain. I channel a lot of hurt because I felt that way too. And I'm here to help transmute it. I'm a fucking earth angel. <laughs> like I literally am here to raise the vibration of the earth. Therefore I need to transmute and channel negative energies. It's just a part of how it goes. So I'm sorry if I come off as negative sometimes or I'm sorry if I come off as sad and emotional, but I also like, I have a cancer moon and cancer rules the emotional spectrum. Like it's okay to not be okay like it's okay to be down and sad sometimes like you don't always have to put on this facade you don't always have to like be so cheerful and so giddy whatever like people saying comments like that it also has this like counterintuitive effect of people being like oh i need to be happy and cheerful and in a good mood every time i come on camera and that's not realistic like it's just not you don't have to show up to the world and be 100% happy and be cheerful and be in a good mood all the time. Like, nobody is that way. And it's not good to force yourself to be that way because then you're giving the world an inauthentic version of yourself. And then you're getting further and further away from the real you. The real you has feelings. The real you is emotional. The real you is raw and authentic. And that's okay. <laughs> like, I tried to explain that as much as I could in the little comment, but you know, probably over everyone's head. They just saw, oh, he seems down hope he's okay which like is really nice and very thoughtful and very sweet i appreciate it but i just like i'm telling you every time i post anything it's just something this is why i'm trying not to read the comments i'm like really at this point where i want to turn the comments off but like i'm not going to because what's the point like you all deserve to have freedom of speech so say whatever you want i guess like you know within reason please like, can we at least think about how somebody else might feel while reading it before we put things on the internet, you know? Can we at least think about somebody else's thoughts, feelings, life before we do some dumb shit and put some dumb things on the internet? Like, can can we can we think about it first, you know? Anyway, that was my little rant slash short story for the day. Feel free to let me know your opinion down below or ignore me completely, whatever. <laughs>
is that vlog? It's November 20th, 1044 AM. I'm not sure when the last time was that I filmed any vlog footage. So here we are and we're doing our favorite activity, grocery shopping. No, I know, so exciting, right? But now we're at Starbucks and I'm going to get a holiday drink so we can start the day, start our shopping. Let's get this coffee. Hi, can I do a grande iced peppermint white chocolate mocha? Grande iced peppermint white chocolate mocha? Yes, please. Can I do that with coconut milk? With coconut milk? Yes, please. Is there whipped cream with that as well? No whipped cream. And then can I also get light ice? No whip, light ice. You got anything else? That'll be everything. Just one drink today? Yep. Alright, cool. I'm going to Thank you. We're switching it up, besties. I'm trying to get into the holiday festive season. I'm trying to feel the vibes. You know? Hi. You too. Starbucks be busy today, besties. Woo! Let's try this. Okay, I don't think I like it. I don't think I like the coconut milk. But I want to try something different, try something new. It's good. You know why I don't like it? Because they made it wrong. And that's fine. Everybody makes mistakes. But I wanted a peppermint white chocolate mocha. And this is definitely just a peppermint mocha. You can tell from like how dark the drink is. That's okay though, but that makes sense. That's why I don't like it. All right, besties, we made it to our first stop. We're gonna be going to Walmart first because Sylvie, my car needs oil. There's a lot of people here. There's just a lot of people in this parking lot. I'm in the mood to just like turn around, go home and say I don't need anything. But I do need to get stuff, so we're going to shop. So we made it into Walmart. And as soon as you try to walk into Walmart, there's just like 10 people outside asking for money, asking you to sign this, asking you to do this, asking them, asking if you can do this for them, asking if you can give them money, like, it's a lot. And then I walked into Walmart and there's just like hundreds of people. Like, I am not in the mood to deal with people today, besties. God, sometimes I wish that I had someone to come and do this with me so that I didn't have to do it alone. But, you know, it's just me, just me. And we're done with Walmart. Thank God I'm so happy to be out of there. It makes me never want to go back into Walmart ever again. I really only went in there because I needed oil for my car. And I wanted to see if I could find the Mr. Beast chocolate bars, but um, was I unable to do that. That was not successful. I was in Ross for maybe like five minutes trying to find stuff. They had some cute winter stuff, but I just like could not be in there. Like the energy was just off and I've been like not feeling the vibes. Like where there's so much stuff in this little area, but today it's not passing the vibe check. I just went to Sprouts really quickly, picked up some things. While I was at Sprouts, I got this immunity shot. This Suja immunity shot with zinc and elderberry. My nose is running. I can feel myself getting like a little sick. And I'm going to see my family next month, so I'm like, let's not get sick. I have things to do. I cannot get sick. So we're going to take this immunity shot together. Per. This one's really yummy. I like the taste of elderberry. And it has like um, ginger in it. It has chamomile tea. And it has honey. It has lemon. It has blueberry. Apple juice. Per. I feel better already. That's a placebo effect. But no, those things really do help. It's like $4 for a shot. Period. I'd rather spend $4 on that kind of a shot than spend $10 on a tequila shot, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so now that that's in my system, I'm gonna go over to Trader Joe's and Target. Yeah, let's go get some more stuff. So one day I was complaining that Hidden Valley doesn't make vegan ranch, so I Googled it and apparently Hidden Valley does make vegan ranch, but I can't find it anywhere. Like I tried Walmart, I'm at Target currently, I just literally don't see it. So if any of you know where I can get Hidden Valley Vegan Ranch, please let me know in the comments down below. Or send it to me, that would be great. Hidden Valley, if you're listening, you could send it. Like I'm waiting. Okay, so we finished all of our shopping at Target, Trader Joe's, Walmart, nothing at Ross. 
now I drove all the way to Van Nuys and we're heading to this dispensary called Off the Charts. Hopefully this turns my day around. Can I do a double-double animal style and a large 7-up with light ice? Perfect. That'll be it. In the car? Where'd you go? To go. That's going to be $7.99 at the first window. At the end, you can follow the Kia. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. I decided to stop at In-N-Out Besties. I haven't had In-N-Out in like months and I was just craving a burger. Judge me if you want. I don't like the fries from In-N-Out. Fries from In-N-Out are trash. I don't know why, they just are. Fight me if you want. We did get a double-double animal style with a large semina. You heard that. I'm excited. I need to eat something. I haven't eaten all day still. It's now 3.30. Love that for us. Burger has been secured. Let's get it. I'm hungry. This is what she's looking like. Yum. All of that. I am so hungry. Oh my god. Uh-huh. I will have to say that In-N-Out is one of my favorite fast food burgers. But you have to get it animal style. So good. Glad we did this. I'm so hungry. I'm going to finish this and we're going to head home and do the grocery haul. So we're going to start with Walmart. First, I got this, which you saw. It's the high mileage 5W30 Valvoline oil for my car. I got this Glade Fall Night Long air freshener. I got the candle recently and the candle was delicious. So I was like, absolutely, I'm going to pick this up. It was only 97 cents. You feel me? Okay. This is in the clearance section. I always recommend, guys, check out the clearance section. I've been feeling like I'm getting a little bit sick, right? We talked about that. And there's 30 capsules in here. They're vegetarian. It has vitamin C, elderberry, echinacea, selenium, so on and so forth. It was in the clearance section for $5. Cran apple, great value juice. My cranberry almond bars. I got them from Walmart this time because they were like a dollar cheaper at Walmart than at Target. The Soyland plant protein drinks, the creamy chocolate, and some orange juice. Again, trying to load up on the vitamin C. That's everything from Walmart. Okay, next up is Sprouts. They had red kale again, so we got some more red kale. I heard that you have to massage it, and so I've been massaging it for like my salads and for my little Buddha bowls and everything, and it like activates the kale. So you have to massage it first. I just think that's so cool. In case you didn't know, massage your kale. Kamado tomatoes, they had them two for five. We got blueberries two for five. I also picked up some organic butternut squash while I was there. The coconut waters, these Hillary's veggie burgers. I really like this one. It's just a very simple one. Sweet potato, leafy greens, and ancient grain millet. I hope that's how you pronounce it, but they're gluten-free, soy-free, and vegan. I like these a lot. This is a new discovery for me that I learned that I really like. Black chickpeas, tamarind, and sweet potato. Just throw it over some rice. Very excited. We got the immunity shot done. You saw me take that. Two things of tofu. I also learned from Jamie, my friend Jamie, who you've seen on the channel. She taught me that if you take the tofu and you get rid of all the water that's in this currently, then you freeze it and then you press the water out again and thaw it, it tastes so much better. And it makes it like more dense. I don't know, it also cooks better too. I've been doing that lately and it tastes phenomenal. So shout out to Jamie for that tip trick hack, period. That's it for sprouts. Next, we went to Trader Joe's. So we got these apple banana fruit sauce crushers, pumpkin oat milk, vegan cream cheese. Got some bagels to go with it. These are everything bagels. Of course, you know we got the impossible nuggets. This healthy kombucha, vegetarian chili, little can of mandarin oranges, so cute. Black beans. And I got some new spices, new seasonings. We have the everything but the bagel sesame and chili lime seasoning. I think I'm gonna throw this on some tofu. I'm excited. That's everything from Trader Joe's. Okay, next up we have Target. Next week for me filming this is Thanksgiving. So I'm trying to stock up so that I don't have to go anywhere or leave the house because I know it's gonna be crazy busy out. I thought this weekend was busy, which that's my mistake for going on a Saturday from like 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's on me, I should have known better. And I don't even live like in LA, LA. I live like outside of LA, but still in Los Angeles County. I'm like closer to Calabasas, but it was crazy. <laughs> so I stocked up so that I don't have to go out next week. From Target, we got my favorite bread. 
We got avocados, I got three of them. And then we have this new journal. It says there is always something to be grateful for. Super cute. It's also 60 to 70% recycled. They make their notebooks with 60 to 70% recycled fiber and printed non-toxic soy-based ink. Love that. But I got this because it says there's always something to be grateful for and I just used up the last page of my journal slash sketchbook. So I needed a new one. And every time I look at this, it'll tell me that there's always something to be grateful for. And I love that. We got a new loofah from EcoTools, Sensodyne, some new candles, tis the season. These are pine wonderland. Smells like trees, smells like the woods, smells like outdoors. I've decided that I need an outdoorsy man. Like I was talking to my friend Monique about this last night on the phone. None of you asked, but I was talking to my friend Monique last night on the phone and we both decided that I need like an outdoorsy man, like a lumberjack man, like a man who uses like a, one of those big axes. That's what they're called in my chops the tree down, mm, sexy, with like big arms. You can see it, I can see it. He's out there somewhere. We got these wee, I'm French now, wee wee. These Yoplait wee dairy-free coconut dairy alternative yogurts. We got this new Sonia Kashuk sponge. Well, it's new to me. They didn't have any individual elf ones at Target. They only had the two pack and I was like, I don't need two, I just need one. So I saw this one and I really liked the black and white. Some Listerine Total Care mouthwash. I needed a new can opener, so we got this one. I don't really like can openers like this. I really like can openers like this, but they didn't have anything like this. I don't know, I like this one. It's easy for me to use. This one kind of scares me, but I'll get the hang of it. If there's a will, there's a way. Also from Target, we got this vanilla syrup for my matcha lattes, for my mushroom coffee, etc. A little pineapple Vita Coco coconut water, and there's more. Target, we want hard. Cozy chamomile tea, grapes, which I'm going to wash. We got this nut and butter peanut butter. I actually really like this one. It's the creamy one. Salsa verde. Ooh, a bunch of rice bags. Listen, I'm feeling really lazy this week, and next week I can already tell that I'm feeling lazy for next week. So I got these 90 second whole grain brown rice one, Southwestern style quinoa and brown rice, Spanish style rice, and then lastly from Target, we got these kosher dill pickle spears because I've been craving pickles. And then lastly, which is not from Target, we went to the dispensary off the charts, you saw that. I feel like I'm allowed to show you this. I live in Los Angeles, it's recreationally legal. I'm not promoting it or telling you to do it, but if you live in a place where it's recreational or medical and you have a medical card, you're 21 or above, I don't see the problem, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just gonna show you everything that I got. We got these pre-rolls. They are Blue Dream Sativa. It's a 14 pre-roll pack, seven grams in here. They're all pre-rolls. I don't know how to roll for myself. I never learned. People have shown me, I just never learned how to do it. So. It's always easier for me to pick up pre-rolls. And then I got these elderberry gummies and they're supposed to be really good for like helping you to sleep. They're 10 milligrams each and there's 10 in here. So I'm excited for that. Plus elderberry is good for the immune system. And then since it was my first time shopping there, I got 30% off, which was dope. And then they also gave a free pre-roll. This is an OG Kush hybrid one gram pre-roll. So that's everything. That's the whole shopping trip today. I wanna say I'm sorry in case I was just like in a bad mood and you caught the vibes, but I also wanna tell you that I love you and thank you so much for hanging out with me even when I'm not in a good mood, even when I'm not like having the best time. It's my own fault for being hangry and it's my own fault for going out during the middle of the day on a Saturday in Los Angeles. But that's it for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to hit that like button and comment for engagement. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you next time.